Yeah. something actually. Does it go into game mode when? Uh... Hmm. Bear me just a second. Hi guys, if you've only just stopped by, welcome to the stream. Um, I've got some settings I need to fix on my TV real quick. Um, should know that that's a PS4 connected in there. Why doesn't it? Bear with me just a second, guys. Sorry about this. The proper introduction in just a moment. Oh, this is so annoying. Can bear with me just for a moment. That'd be great. HDR is supported on this TV. Hmm. Hang on just a moment, please. I know HDR is supported because I've been using it. Game mode is turned on. There we go. It's recognised. Now I can crack on. Oh, morning, dude. Morning. <laughs> Fixing the PS4. Fixing some shit. Wait, now it's done that, does it realise that HDR is actually supported on this TV? Oh, God. HDR supported. There we go, super sampling. HDR now supported. Automatic, 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 automatic. 
everything is good. My TV, for some strange reason. Good old technology. Yeah, I know. Like my TV, where it, I unplugged it to play with the um, neighbours downstairs, plugged it back in. It viewed it as an unknown source, so it wasn't actually amping up any of the HDR or anything like that. So now I've unplugged it and plugged it back in again. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm starting by a river. Yeah, I know, right? There's my horse. What am I actually doing? Let's have a look. Chick Matthews. Let's go get a debt. Come on, horse. We're going to go get a debt. We're going to go over here and grab a debt. Shit, I need to eat. I'm gonna go into a. I'm gonna go get this. Actually, no. What have we got? That just fills the bars. I need to fill the cores. Yeah, that'd do it. Right, now I need to do stamina. Is there anything that does stamina and dead eye? Because that's what I need really. Stamina and dead eye. Ah, there we go. Let's drink some more fine brandy. Get that stamina up. Oh, and some gin. Let's drink some gin. Open gin, that's all I need. This way, right. Shotgun, long arm, shoulder repeater. And let's go, Phil. Let's put it away, put it away. I could jump to your wagon and rob you, but I'm not gonna. If I press down, my karma is in the red, as you can see, right at the bottom there. Hey there. Might have to take some for the horses' stamina in a minute. <laughs> Attention where I'm going, really. Oh, is that a gambling game? Stay there, horse. I need to see what's going on here. Play draw dominoes. I'll play some dominoes. Let's do it. Win round to being the first to place all your tiles. Okay. I've got a lot of blanks. These guys are... Then again, all his look like blanks. I can't even see his dominant. Look. Look at all his blanks. Is he the same over that side? I can play that tile. Let's, let's get her down. Have a look at the table. Just 
make a move, anything. Oh, okay. Go physically select the tiles. Let's go for that one. Got nothing with a six on it. I'm gonna have to play my double blank. We'll play at that end. I think that old geezer's winning this. Let's place it up that way. Okay, now they got some good. Uh... So, God, that's a big old game of dominoes, isn't it? Uh -huh. No. Okay. Pop, pop that over there. He's oh, picked up a tile. Ha <laughs> ha! Does he gonna have to pick one up? Oh, he's picked up another one. There's that. All oh, right. He's had to pick one up. I saw the popper down. Well, we can go in from the four over there and lead on. Lead on the four five. Oh, I'm gonna win. It's my go. Is it my go? I'm gonna win this. That's not looking up, amigo. I'll pass. Not me. Well, thank you. I just. Pop my domino down here and get myself a win. Yes. Arthur has played all the tiles. Won the round. Twenty-six bonus points. Yeah, come on in. I'll sit here and play some dominoes. I do like me some dominoes. Both the pizza and the uh, the game. Oh, you mix up all those dominoes, you get them out of there, fool. Whose go is it? Arthur has the highest double. Arthur has the highest double or tile and goes first. Doubles take priority over a non double of the same value. Oh, I've got the double six, that forces the next person to draw if you do it first. He's going to have to draw a tile now, isn't he? Oh, or did I just have to draw because I didn't have anything? Ah, right, okay. So, we'll go for the five. Place it over there. Get that tile out. What's he gone for? Five and five. I can do a five and five and then draw the five and two. Then just hope for the best after that. Penis. Well, we'll draw the six one up there. Hope someone pulls out a four in a minute. But we'll see. Oh, I'm a lucky son of a bitch today. Let's get the double four out. And hopefully someone will lay down a five. Has that got a five on it? No. Nope. Has that got a five on it? Nope, I had to pick up a tile. Boy, that don't look good for you, does it? I had to pick up another tile. That's not much use. And another one. This boneyard is useless. Yeah, I'm a fucking laugh. <laughs> nah. But I could have used a double blank. I don't get that. I could have used a double blank. Which I'm now not going to use because I don't want them to... Get on the old double double. Just my Mother. goddamn luck. Fuck you, Cleve. Sorry, it ain't more. Ah, you've done well. Fucking Cleve. All right, come on, we can do this. Come on.
Come on, Arthur. Concentration face. Concentration face to the max. Come on. Cleve won the previous round and goes first. Okay, Cleve. Playing this domino. Play that over there. Switch to the. There's the tiles. There's the table. Let's go with a four-one up there, because then I can hopefully stretch out the rest of these dominoes. There's a one down there. Keep it coming. Let's keep it coming. Double one up there. That's right, I'm needing them to play off the bottom. A one blank there. Yes, he had to pick up. Yes. This is good so far. Drew a good one. Right, we can go off the four three and hopefully go off a blank two. I want that to work. He had to draw right. a tile. And we go blank to blank and we win the round. Something small here. Ain't getting much. Is that it? Damn. I'm going to win this game with dominoes. If it kills me. If it actually kills me. Oh, I need to win. Oh, yes, give me more of that. Oh, I need to win. Just checking the stream health. Bitrate looks good, everything is looking good. Let's uh, rain that in, shall we? We don't need that panel. Don't need that panel, so we'll bring that panel up. Solid! Alright, what shall we go for? Let's get rid of a. Well, how many have I got? I've got a load of fives, quite a few twos, and ones. So let's see if we can get rid of the ones. Ah, oh, that's alright then, that's good. Uh -huh. Let's go, keep it coming, let's keep it coming. Shut up. Five and two could lead on to the two and blank, so let's play that one. The two and blank will open some doors. Oh, he's putting the ones. Ah, bugger. Um, well, we can go four, one. One, four up the top, and hopefully... I'll bring it round. These guys haven't had to pick any up yet, so. Five and one. These ones are coming in really handy. Get up there, fool. They will have to draw dominoes in a minute, I hope. Three and one. Get the three and one out up there. Come on, yes. That's right, you pick up. You're in some trouble, my friend. Not pretty. <laughs> That's right, keep picking up. That's right, cleave. What we got we've got a six down the bottom and a three at the top. I'm gonna have to go six two. Hope they play their tiles at the top. Uh, oh then again, I've got a blank, so I'm winning this either way. You're picking up. That's right, pick up a tile. And uh, the old uh Bomb, domino, there we go. After has played all their tiles and wins around. 22 points, 13 points. 72 points, I've won. Yeah, Arthur reaches the target, saw the win the game and has awarded $3. I, I did that for $3. I'm going to leave the table, boys. 
Three dollars won. Let's get back on the horse and chase this bounty. Come on, horse. Come on. Oh shit. This way. You're on. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Yeah. Hey, real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Give me my money. Me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Come on. Could win real big, huh? Hang on. Come on, you can't win if you don't All play. Right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Okay. What we shoot at? Whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh my god. Fuck. Um, I do not know, dude. Bear me just a second, because this guy is about to beat me. Oh, ha, 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 ha. It was a good try, but <laughs> maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? There you go, buddy. I lost fair and square. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Oh, and it is just the right stick. I've been pushing both the sticks, but... Maybe. Oh, I could shoot you so fucking hard right now, but I lost. Um, <clears throat> it wouldn't do the stationary ones, and um, my dead eye had run out a little bit. I gotta go eat some food. You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I wanna talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. I know your chick Matthews. I know his chick Matthews.
Does it look like I'm getting in there? Damn it! Chase and capture Chick Matthews. Off we go. Oh no, no, I, I followed my waypoint by accident. There he is. Oh fuck, that train's going so fast. Hey, Chick Matthews. I'm just gonna hog tie you up. Really happy about this. What? I just about to hog tie you. <laughs> oh, I never know how to read these. Something should happen to me, all my worldly possessions are stored here. So his possessions are in a tree. Go to the area shown on the map. If we zoom it in, nice. Yeah, you see, it doesn't really tie off with anything that's on the map. That's why I find these treasures a little bit difficult. It's obviously going to be in this big tree here, isn't it? There it is, there's the hole in the tree. Search the tree. Thank you for your money. Go there and pop the debt in there. Oh, oh god. Oh no, uh oh. Come on, horse, you're fine. Get up. Get up. <laughs> right, we're up. We good? We good, horse? Okay. Oh, I wasn't concentrating that time. That was, that was my bad. Oh, now you're injured. Oh, damn. I haven't got a revive for you either. Well, let's... Well, 
Well, I've got everything I need. It's been fun, Bojack. Ah, I get resaddled up. It's been fun. Bye. Right, now I need another horse. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked here. I did not have any horse potions, dude. None whatsoever, unfortunately. I feel like I can make it up there. Come on, yeah. There's a town over there, there might be a horse. Try and punch a goose, it's quite hard. <laughs> That's right. I was just rip your skin off. Thank you. Cool. I love that about this game. The skinning is just so real. Scent glands. I can probably make something to mask my smell. In. That ox does not like me. Um, He is not friendly at all. Let me on. I just want to ride the mule. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the, the mule's not friendly either. <laughs> easy there, easy. Whack. <laughs> oh. I've got a new journal entry. Let's have a look.
Met an idiot hunting for treasure, bought a map off him, I wonder if I'll find anything. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Jose even more. He's kind of fair he's a kind of fair like human being. Dutch is someone else, this bear was also someone else. Size of a goddamn hotel. I was mean with it. Still <laughs> picture of the bear. Some more pictures of some animals. Alright. Penis. Well, what it was his horse. Should have just shot him. I mean, my karma's that bad already. I mean, what's a little more karma? Guys, a witness. Damn it, I ran out of dead eye. No, he shot my horse! <laughs> God damn it! I gotta kill these guys, they're witnesses. Let's get out of here. Turns out shooting all the witnesses uh, doesn't stop the law from coming after you.
Let's loot him. Give me his shit. Hold oh, out over there. Right, in we go. Uh, this guy, he doesn't know me. It's all cool. We're just two guys passing through. What's this? You're digging for oil. Let's inspect the structure. It looks like we're digging for some oil. Oh yeah, shit, I made myself a cup of coffee. Where'd I put it? It's probably fucking cold by now. Oh, now nah, it's still warm. It's at that drinking temperature where you just drink it and it's good, you know. Oh, ah. Roddy. Anything worth taking up here at all? Gin saying Alexa, yeah, go on. We'll have that. Oh, okay. Bow shots, fishing up physical strength will increase it further. Or I can just drink loads of ginseng, Alexa. Just drunk another one. 50% to level 6. And carrying on. Brandy, yes, please. There's nothing in there, no. Okay. Hey, stranger. Dear Mr. Varley, it's very regrettable that you've rejected the various extremely generous purchase offers presented to you by Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Cornwall has obligingly consented to allowing you a grace period of a further three weeks to reconsider your position. We strongly advise you to do so. After that, I would be very I would be very concerned about a company of your size being able to continue to compete on price in the state of New Hanover and to secure acceptable rates of railroad transportation. We look forward to hearing from you soon and as always, wish you the very best good fortune in all your endeavours. All right. So they just straight out killed the guy, did they? Let's flip it. Leave it on the back. Looks like you met a bad end because you don't want to sell up. That's what happens when you fight the man. The man just kills you. Unfortunately. You got something the government wants, the government's going to take it.
Oh, there's a dinosaur bone down here. One of one of thirty found. Oh shit, I got to go. Yep. There are people coming for me and I very much don't want that to happen. Go, go, go. go. Can Arthur Morgan get himself a piece of ass? And that my saddle? No. Yes. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Well, I'm sure you have it under control. Okay. Well, she's talkative. Um. Oh, I hate the fact that you're locked to walking in this camp. Hello, hello Dutch. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. All right, let's put the debts in there, increase the camp funds. Nice. Got anything that I can just randomly chuck in there? Let's have a look, any items? Nothing worth shit, really. Let's have a look in the ledger. Is there anything we can improve in the camp? Let's get a chicken coop. Increases the quality of Pearson's stew, does it? Alright then. Fine by me. That's a point. Can I eat a bowl of stew? Arthur. Fuck off, Dutch. The case of the deceitful German. Baron von Schwarzhart. Okay. Only a lay enveloped in a thick blanket of fog. Hung like a blanket has been hung from a place you hang things from. <laughs> okay.
Even our rooms, it seemed to, as an expectant air hung about the place, both hanging together like two friends who live together and ejaculate together in surprise. And that, my dear reader, is precisely what we did next. My God, I ejaculated. Upon my word, gasped Mr. Filson. Yes, even Mr. Filson, the most brilliant man in the empire, detective, yogi, sage, scientist, organist, raconteur, occasional thief, patriot, and expert, and a thousand other subjects besides. Even he was surprised. Upon my word, he repeated, still surprised. What are you doing here? Standing in front of us, he had not been last seen locked up in a tower on a tropical island away at certain doom, was the worst man in all of Europe. The most dastardly, most Germanic, most domineering, in, injudicious Baron von Schwarzhart, needless to say. His weapon was drawn. I did not come here for revenge, Herr Filson, he drawled Germanically. And why are you here? I sputtered enormously. Firstly, to prove that even the best man in Great Britain is no match for a German aristocrat. Something that look in both your faces demonstrated as I walked through the door. And secondly, to offer you a deal. The Baron's eye patch twitched as he spoke. Only a fool would trust a man like him. Okay. And it's over five years since I last ejaculated in surprise. What the fuck? <laughs> I was stung like a person who has just been stung by a bee or even a scorpion by this admonition that cut me hard, but I grinned and bore it, for Filson could be unkind, but I forgave him. And now I think of it, he was like a scorpion, cunning, baffling, and with a sting in his long tail. This was something the Baron had forgotten. Leonard was shrouded in mysterious fog. The German was cunning, and yet Filson was more foggy, mysterious and cunning than both of them combined. In a trice he had disarmed the Baron and had a rapier held quivering against his chin. Now, my dear Baron, if you don't want me to penetrate you like a fish with this sword, tell me just who you are and what you are doing. I am the Baron von Schwarzhart, he gasped, but as he spoke, his disguise began to slip. There stood before us was not a German at all, but even worse, a woman. Oh, oh. Can we go to the next page? Item request. Jose... Enjoys reading crime novels. Find one for him. Okay. Well, I take it that wasn't a crime novel then. Can I take the whiskey? Let's take the whiskey. Let's take all the whiskey. It's a whole box. I just drink a whole bottle of whiskey down in one. What's this? There's documents everywhere. Army of the United States, dishonorable discharge. This is to certify that Marion Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder on deviancy, dated 27th December 1892. Officer in charge, Colonel Harold T. Irving. Okay. Can we flip that? Anything written on the back? No. Let's put that away. And that's just a piece of paper. Okay. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh. Well, good. Just keep your head down. Well, good talking to you. Alright. What have we got? We can do the Dutch mission, which I'm not interested in doing just yet. Reverend Swanson. Jose. And we've got... Javier Escuela. We'll go rescue Sean. Well, let's do... That sounds quite fun, actually. Let's go do that one. Let's stock up on some shit whilst we're here.
You're drunk, not tired. There's a difference. All right, we'll take everything we can take up here. Where's the ammo cart? I know there's an ammo cart. Where is it? Got it. I'll take the arrows, not that I'm ever going to use them. Because I'm shit with a bow, as we all know. Is that it for the ammunition? Inspect this letter. Dear Arthur. Oh shit. I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. Uh -huh. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story. Oh, let's go get off a laid. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Shit. Let's go get myself looking all good and proper for Mary Linton. Hats. Got my suspenders. No chaps just yet. Boots. Ah. 
Gotta have spurs. Got some gloves on, weapon equipment, gun belts, upgraded gun belt, holsters. Upgraded bandolier, we've got bandolier on. It's off a satchel bit. You have no outfit suitable for hot weather on your horse. Right. Yeah, maybe I should take the bear help. Right. How do I put shit on my horse then? The bear hat's cool and everything, but... Yeah, I think we need, if we're going to go into the cold, maybe we'll put the bear hat on. For now. probably wanted me to wear a lighter outfit because this is fur line so let's try let's try the duster coat morning, morning. Alright, where are we going? Oh, I wanted dead or alive down there. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do the Reverend mission first. As it's closer. Dutch's mission is even closer than that, but... I want to do his mission last. Oh, is the stew ready yet? That's the main thing. Is the camp stew ready? No, we're still still waiting on the stew. It's just to come back at noon. Can I sleep? Can I like sleep and wait till noon? Have a look. Sleep, yes. Noon, yes, because then we we'll eat the stew, fill up all our shit, and then go. Have I read this yet? <clears throat> Rambles through woods and plains. Oh, that's handy. Hey, okay, 
Dandy, how are you? Well, they oh, haven't right. killed me yet. So. Who ain't? Some boys around here. Hey! There's enough fools out there deserve shooting, you know. What do you mean? I know it's you keeps killing innocent people. Ain't nobody innocent in this world, Miss Grimshaw. You know that. Use your brain, Mr. Morgan. We don't have time for you to keep acting crazy. All right. Well, where's the stew? How are things? Oh, I've been better. Hey, it's, it's little Jack Marston. <coughs> Mr. Pearson. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Sure, Arthur. Where's the stew? God, all he does is drink. So wait till noon for stew. I waited till noon and there's no stew. your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. I know supplies are low. Can't wait to taste this. Take what I can get. Oh, I just donated a pelt by accident. Thank you. Many thanks. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Oh, now make now make the stew. This all I want is some camp stew, man. It was like, come back at noon for some stew. Oh, is he doing it? Hi, Pearson. Hey, need any supplies? Always. Can never have too much. All right, see what I can do. I should do some work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I like Karen. He's all right. Where'd you get your bowl of stew from, bitch? I want a bowl of stew. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Oh, Mary Beth. 
I need to tell you everything, Mary Beth. We went and made our choices a long time ago. So I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, okay. Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. Just realistic about what's coming. But I keep acting really crazy. <laughs> no. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the fucking truth, eh? Let's take this to Pearson's wagon. I need to get this karma back up a little bit. Getting to where we need supplies for an army. Hopefully the stew will be done soon. Howdy do. Howdy do, Uncle. Ah, good. You're moving those. I took inventory on them just yesterday. Awesome. It really like adds a lot to what you're doing. Like it does put your karma up by quite a fair bit if you do chores around the um, house, which is good. And shop. Oh yeah, are you ready for this? And chop! Oh, there we go. So it's that one disobedient log. Chop! being happy. <laughs> Try happiness. A little bit of happiness. Ah, oh, thank you for telling me I need to be more happy, Bill. Go away, Dutch. Well, there's another sack there needs carrying. And then that water needs emptying. Over the 
Simon Pearson's wagon. Oh, some of the slowest parts of the game, this, doing these chores. They've got to be done. Got to keep the relationship with everyone else good, you see. Good to see you putting your back into it. It's one fifty nine, and there is still no camp stew. Doing the chores actually fills your dead eye meter. Dead eye bars increased, trick shots, hunting, craft another survivalist. Brilliant activities will increase it further. That's good to know. And then we got the bucket which needs emptying. Be cool if you could swing the bucket around and just like, Hello, uh, hey, how's it going? Hi. I wonder how many wash bins he's filling. The stew's ready. Thank God. Let's pour some coffee because it won't let me eat the stew just yet. Get me some coffee. I'm going to have to get me some proper coffee in a minute. Go make another cup. To me, like we're all good for now. No more chores need doing over here, no. That bucket doesn't need carrying again. There you are. You. Yes, you. When you gonna let me take you out for an evening into town? You know, to a, like a magic lantern show or something. A little long in the tooth for oh, nonsense. How about tomorrow? Well, let me think. So that's a yes. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna go out with you, I'm gonna have to look my best. So can I borrow ten dollars? <laughs> I'm good for it. Borrow money? Oh, you horrible man! Well, you oh. can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> what is it, Arthur? How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. All right, well, I should be getting on. 
Okay, Arthur. Well, it looks like I'm off. Well then, looks like I'm selling these horses. Yeah. Is there a stables where I'm going? No, looks like I'm just going to the station. Right, we'll, we'll go to the station. Come on, horse. Mr. Borgen, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Okay. He has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't okay. seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. Ain't none of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Oh, we yeah. No mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. Okay. <laughs> And he's gone. Well, how's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Yeah, I got him. Sure. I'll play a few hands. I'll play a few hands of poker. So Kick your ass. Man. That's the plan. Let's play some poker. The Reverend's crawling away outside, drunk as a skunk. Lovely. I'm Luther. Each player's dealt two cards. More players will be dealt later. Oh, is it? Are you both being gentlemen about this? Same goes oh, it's not, for you. It's not Texas Hold'em. It's fucking. So, oh, you two know each other anyway. Don't seem like the likeliest of friends. If you don't mind me saying. You go a long way back, and now you're his chaperone. I guess it's something like that. Can we'll we call play? you. Ah, when all the players have matched the bet. Ah, there we go. There we go. It, it is Texas Hold'em. Pair of queens. We'll bet a little. Yeah. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand out. Turn. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. Let's check. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. 
right, Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Let's bet ten cents. There. Pile of crap. Don't laugh. <laughs> Yay! Well, my first hand in poker. Gambler challenge. Yeah, go on then. Let's see how many hands we can win here. If any. Okay, okay. Right, let's, let's skip the deal in. Two and a queen. Let's call, cool, see what we get on the flop. Or the river, or whatever it is. I don't fucking know. Nine, two, and a four. I've got a two and a queen. We'll put 14 cents in. Here. Really? Oh, cool. Go on, another two. Damn it. Oh, I've got nines and twos. Or he might have a queen in his hand. I didn't think of that. I'm going all in. Yeah, queens and twos. Woo! Uh, okay. Give me all that money. Taking your cash, motherfuckers. Look at my stack. You worry about your own game. All right, Marvin, you got all the dollars. At this table, huh, Marvin? What we got? What we got? Clean them out, dude. I'm gonna do my best. So right, I got kings and sixes. What's he got? He's just gonna fold. He's out. Uh, we're gonna clean this guy out. I'll raise. I'm gonna raise you. Oh cool. Oh cool, I'll just see. Just fucking see what happens. <laughs> oh come on, please be good. Oh no! No! <laughs> Go on, take some money back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Not cleaned them out just yet, but oh well. Alright, deal the cards. We'll skip the deal there. What we got in my hand? A 10 and a jack. Let's bet. He's got 84 cents. Let's put 84 cents in. Okay, let's have some fun here. Let's have some fun with this one. Yeah, here we go. Did he fold his cards? So he must have done. Pair of fives. With a jack high. Oh, let's bet. 22 cents. Oh, come on. This ain't kid poker. Yeah, well, let's get a dollar in there. Uh, how about that? It's not real money, so I don't really care. Oh! Shit. Three, four, five, six. I mean, I'm gonna just check. <laughs> I've got nothing. There. Only just. Ah! Oh, you you motherfucker! <laughs> this Marvin, he's fucking. He's an animal. He's a fiend. Let's skip that. What we got? Three and a five. Let's go all in. I better go all in. 
Now you're talking my language. I'm going all in. Let's do it, guys. Let's all go all in. All right, what do we got? I ain't got nothing too impressive. Five and the three, ten and the queen. Christ. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> It's okay, guys. Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where'd the Reverend go? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where? It... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend. Reverend Swanson. Where'd you go? Well, I lost a poker, but it's all good. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Got Cheers, buddy. Crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Oh, he's only over there. Right, let's go. Reverend! Over here! Calm down! All right, the Get your hands off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! It's not the big now show! What's your problem? He's with me! Oh! He knocked my hat off! Motherfucker! You're going down! Paradise fools! Oh! Oh, this guy's fucking beast! Oh, there we go. Oh, haircut sealed the deal. What? Hey, you, get back here. Come on. Oh, I missed. I missed. Death by headbutt, yeah, I know. It was great. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay. <laughs> just take it. Just just please let me go. God, you're lucky I let you go, right? Reverend, get off the damn tracks! <laughs> right, hang on. Go to Reverend Swan. Oh, I was gonna loot that guy, but I guess not. Okay. How the hell did he get up there? What is he doing? <laughs> you don't know what to say, do you, John Marston? Um, I just need to check something about the sound, audio, output headphones. Yep, cool. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. And what's oh, I knew this would happen. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I'm sorry. You've been very bad. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Has he just passed out? Oh my god. What is what is up with this reverend? I'll put you on the horse. I'll get you home. Just getting him home. Oh, oh! Shit! Sorry, Reverend. Oh, oh no. Is the horse okay? Yeah, you kind of just gotta, gotta watch out when you're riding the horse because you will crumple up. Now we can go down. Then he just rode off the cliff. But we're good, we're good. We're good. One for the road. Close the oh, managed it. Hit your horse. Look guys, I brought the Reverend back. Someone's got a gramophone. Hitch my horse. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. Oh, thanks, Kieran. Remove Reverend Swanson from your horse. Get off, Swanson. Let's go. Drop him in his bed. I didn't realize they had like gramophones and things like that back in the 1800s. I actually didn't know that at all. He's got a little nice little tent here. Let's, yeah, let's drop him here on his little sleeping sack. Oh, that was a bit heavy-handed. Your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll You're welcome. Keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Oh, that's that mission done. Hi there. Right, what have we got next? What have we got next? So we've got Dutch. Another Jose mission over here. A Javier Squella mission. A 
bounty poster over there, stables. Are any stables over here? No, there's a gunsmith. Oh, I have a bounty over here as well. There's a tailor here. Tailor, uh, barber, photo studio, fence, trapper, general store, some sort of, I it said general slave for some reason, post office, newspaper seller, and a show. Oh, that's something I haven't done yet. I haven't seen the show in uh, Valentine. Stable just over there, Emerald Branch. Post office. Ah, oh, I need to uh, post a dinosaur bone location to uh, a bird, don't I? Where's Valentine? How have I managed to lose that already? Ah, oh, there it is. There's no wanted posters down here, but we could pay a visit to... Mary Linen. Which is what we're gonna do. Can I use some of this fucking stew yet? Pearson, fuck off. Yes, finally, I can take a bowl of stew. Eat. Nice. Alright, if I'm going that way, I will just take a random horse down there to sell as well for a bit of cash. <laughs> Ride this fucking random horse. This way, blaze through this trail, do it, oh sorry horse, it's hard to turn, or gauge when you need to turn, oh this way apparently, we'll cut across here, Wait for that stamina bar to recharge. this one I can tell you don't like visitors huh whatever you come looking for ain't here clear these streets best be leaving now is that right okay then I fucking leaving nowhere Oh, God damn it. Yep. Just for beating up an O'Driscoll. That's really annoying.
Cool. Right. Man, I've got a really big bounty around here. I need to sort that out, but I need to get some money to pay it off. Pay it off first. Ah, there we go. If you lose your saddle, we retrieve for you when entering the stables. Cool. <sighs> Excuse me. Just don't get violent in here again. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. Swap them for you. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Look at that. I need to get all that shit when I eventually have enough money, but for now that'll do. Grooming? Do I need to groom the horse at all? Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. <laughs> I didn't know you could do all that shit. Yeah, grooming a horse sure makes it a view. <laughs> Fucking... I'm sure some of them will want this. Little fine grooming always sets off a horse. That's a good looking horse now. Need to clean my fucking gun. Let's clean it up. Ah. 
Might as well do the shotgun whilst I'm at it as well. Right, come on horse. Let's go visit Mary or Maggie or whatever her fucking name is. Let's pat this horse. We are friends with this horse. Yeah. Give this horse a little brush. Nearly done, boy. Knock the door. We loved once and true too. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, man. She looks like the so, woman in uh, the, his picture. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Linton? Mrs. Linton? A collar for you, Mrs. Linton? We got a collar. Holy shit, oh, smoking. Mary? Yeah. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. Oh, I help him. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. I'll help him. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. That strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. Uh -oh. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough. To marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help and save your family. Exactly, mm. exactly, Arthur. You, you get it. Help me, but but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say She's let begging. Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur. All right, I'll do it. But you need to get down on your knees right now. Suck my dick. Oh, let's help Mary. Let's help Somewhere Mary. Out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. Not the Cumberland Forest back, area. Arthur. We'll get it back anyway. If you anyway. find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Oh yeah, you will. You already owe me. Oh shit. She already owes him for something or other. There's no one around at the moment, is there? There's no. There's no one that could potentially witness a crime, is there? Good. Hi, sheep. Let's jump out. <laughs> F 
fuck, they're all the way out there. Do you know what, no matter where I go, I've got a bounty of 300 at the moment. It's really bad. I need to build up some money to pay off my bounties. It's not that far away, as long as we gun it. Ah, oh, fuck. Zigzag. The fucking horse ran me over. Oh, after all of that, I got done by a horse. Fuck's sake. Ugh, I had those guys. I actually had those guys. Oh, excuse me. Come on! Don't fail me now, horse. Because if you do, I will put you down and think nothing of getting another horse. I don't care if I can build a bond with you. Let's keep going this way. I mean, we should be coming up on it soon. Now nah, my karma's really bad. But yeah, I'm a cowboy and my karma's supposed to be bad. I haven't got a bounty over here, I mean that's some good news. Soon be able to fix that there. Help the blind. Help the blind. Help the blind. You're blind? I wonder. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. 
Well, I mean, he's definitely blind. I was trying to see if he'd react to um, me pointing my gun at him, but he didn't. So, definitely a blind guy. Woohoo! Thank you, sir. No worries. Thank you. Well, what's, uh... Keep moving, sir. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Keep moving, but don't move too fast. Okay. Oh, they know where I am. Straight away. Okay. Got him. Oh. Maybe that's what he meant by move, but don't move too fast. I don't know. Cocaine gum. That's just what we need. Horse stimulant. Gin. Ooh. Stop looting! Zigzag. Zigzag so you don't get shot. Ooh. What rounds have I got in here? Express rounds, okay. Oh, come on! Oh, this is so difficult because um, I've got a bounty everywhere. So now bounty hunters are after me and I ain't got the fucking money to get rid of them. New journal entry. Where did that O'Dristal camp go though? That's what I want to know. Am I still near it? Just got to be back over this way somewhere, surely. I'm sure I cooked something. It's 
clean them out a little bit. Come on, get in your tent, you bastard. Have I got anything I can cook? There we go, right, let's go. Yep. We'll see what we got round here. Yep. I love how you get like soaked in the wet weather. My horse is getting a nice wash as well. It looks shiny almost. Yeah. Up the hill. We're gonna make it up here, horse. We're gonna make it up here. We're gonna love it. Come on, come on. Up the horse, please. Up the horse? Up the hill, please, horse. Up the horse, please, hill. Hello. Um. Shall I see? Shall I see? Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. That's what I said. Path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. Okay. What do search for, do you think? We search for purpose, obviously. I don't know. We search for purpose, I think. I don't know. Meaning? Jamie knows the truth. That guy's had a stroke. You may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... Whoa. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Horse chase. I love these. Why are their horses always so much faster than mine? Come on! I 
I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. I don't want to get the boy killed. He's probably too scared of his dad, and that's why he's where he is now. Come on! I will get him. I will get him. Come on, Jamie. You're not doing fine by yourself, buddy. She can't catch him out. Is he actually shooting at me? Fucking okay, idiot's actually taking shots at me. Uh oh. Mission failed. Right, that's what I thought would happen. Oh, I'm gonna have to shoot his horse. It's going to be the only way to take him down, I think. Just shoot the horse. No, he got away. Damn it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, uh, right. I feel like I could do better this time, you know? Uh, I feel like... Leave me alone, Arthur. Right, I will shoot his horse. I've got to take a nice, lengthy shortcut. This way. No, that's not going to work, is it? That worked. Get up. Get up. <laughs> okay. Let's retry the checkpoint. Let's try this again. And see where we go from here. Right, we'll mount the horse. Shut up. Shut up, Jamie. You're going to get my help whether you like it or not. High velocity ammo, let's go. Damn it. I need to shoot his horse. I will shoot you down, Jamie. Fuck. Come on, Tennessee. Okay, right, I'm gonna go with another idea. I'm gonna take a horse tonic. Forgot, completely forgot about those. Infinite sprint. Leave me alone, Arthur. So we want. Just using you. Tell you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? 
I know absolutely nothing about it. I think I just have to chase him for a certain distance. Come on! I got bounty hunters behind me now as well. Talking about Jamie. Uh oh. Right, okay. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Please, kid. Put that gun down. He scared his horse away. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave. Me alone. There we go. What? No, I didn't kill him. I shot the gun. Oh, come on. You must have all seen that, right? I shot the fucking gun. Maybe, like, the reaction caused him to shoot himself? I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Oh, I did it! Yes! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't quite get what happened there, because I did disarm him, and then suddenly he wasn't Have disarmed. I a terrible fool, Arthur? Yep. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I don't know enough about it. I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time. <laughs> Farmer Gillis. Didn't <laughs> kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. to me. They're decent. Sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Okay. That's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. 
Please send him my worst regards. <laughs> He's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um, don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? apples? Yeah, I love apples. What? Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. Alright, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Yep. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Oh, are. thanks, buddy. Must be waiting inside. Follow me, buddy. Yeah. Morning, Parker. I got your brother. I got him. I got him. Got him. Jamie. Come home. Please. You've. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Is she a little bit like not with it, or? She loves repeating herself. And you, Arthur. And you. On the train. You'll never change. I know that. Goodbye. See ya. Feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. That's what women I do, mate. I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. That's women for you, buddy. Yeah, take a hike. I fought for you. Good for you, buddy. Someone's gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. I'm sure I just wrote in my journal.
Mister. Evening. Just want to get a drink. Hell, there's a face I haven't seen in some uh, time. Partner. Good evening, partner. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Glad someone's on the up. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. See you around. What was in that bottle? Have a nice mm. evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, mister. Oh, they do you have the time there? The you got me. Finally. Okay, thanks anyway. Be seeing you. You sure run into some nice folks out this way. Who knew? All the best to you. Till the next time. Yeah, I think I'll avoid a saloon fight for now. Thank you. Give a fellow a nickel. Hey, mister. <laughs> Need some? Hey, friend. Hey, brother. Hey, evening, mister. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. Okay. Friend died. Weren't my fault. Weren't your fault, okay? But they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? What do you want? Okay, just quickly. What the fuck? That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, Why did he want to cuddle? He got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Okay. Will he follow me now? No, good. Well, I didn't give him any money. That's a win, I suppose. What you got for me to send? I can't rob him, so... Apologies, but I can't. Damn, I need to get rid of this bounty, don't I? I also need to make some cash.
Maybe we can make a few bucks over here. Why did my karma go down? I didn't steal the vehicle. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hang on. You made me work you. can empty your damn pockets, too. All right, all right. It's all I have. Take it. For no, God, no! Right now, where was I? Oh yeah, I was stealing these horses and selling them to the stables. That's what I was doing. Bill, it's uncle. Oh, I appreciate it, Arthur. No sense of humor, the fellers around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Hey, mister. Hey. Welcome back. You know, he ain't a bad feller, all things considering. That man's head's going soft in his old age. You better watch out I for him. I think I had enough. Listen. Fool or not, that drunk's a friend. I'll see you mess with him again. I'll see to it you don't do much after. Oh, yeah. Your threats. That piece of shit comes around here again, he'll get what's coming to him. Whoa, you want me okay, to... Okay, okay, no, that good. Why don't you mind your manners, partner? Whoa, now. Put that away if you want to stay. Don't worry yourself about that. I said, put it away, or you can get. Hear me? All right. You gotta behave. Mister. I don't want no Easy more trouble. There. I'll just take some oatmeal, buddy. Sit there, enjoy my oatmeal. Force a guy out of the fucking thing. Hey. Sorry, you don't need to hear this. I'll be seeing you. Well, we forced that guy out of the uh, the saloon. I wasn't taking that shit. There's my horse. There's the lawmen who may or may not decide to take up arms against me. Or at least the stables are open. Got myself a horse that I want to sell. Gone. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. Bring that horse back if you need anything. Oh. 
Right, we decided what we're doing next. Let's have a look. Where are we going? The lawmen are in town, but they don't appear to want to do anything. Could go get a bed for the night. Let's go see what Jose wants. No, not me. Hey there, mister. Uh. Fuck it out. Take some oat cakes, horse. Let's go. Easy now. Look who we found! Barry and Mays! Ah, fuck! Oh, shot us out. That's it. Fuck off. Let's loot some O'Driscolls, they usually got some good stuff. Take from the rich, damn straight. Down some O'Driscolls like a pro. Salute this O'Driscoll. Oh, I've got his wedding ring. And we'll loot that O'Driscoll. Got some dynamite. Get in. I made a nice little hauler for them. Come on, horse. Right now. Not far to go, come on. Yeah. What crime? I only killed some O'Driscolls, that's not a crime. <laughs> but like, 
Who even reported that shit? Do you know what I mean? Let's inspect this shit. What have we here? Oh, we got some jewelry. No, no. Fuck's sake. Take the jewelry. Ginseng elixir. That's what we need. That puts our health up. Can't. And no more bourbon. But we can use the ginseng elixir, which I will fucking use. Where is it? Consuming this gives you health experience. The last thing I wanted to do was set up camp, but I suppose I could rest here for a bit and get all my health and stuff back. I sleep till noon. Could just set up the tent, but we're just gonna just gonna pass out on the deck, I think. New journal entry. Let's tear down the camp. I mean, the dogs are sniffing for me at the moment, but no one's seen me just yet, so... I'm going to carry on riding through and see how far I get. Horse is running out of puff. Hey there, partner. Mister? Got your hands full there. I work, or I get my hide tanned. Well, you seem to know what you're doing. Bye.
What's the Jose mission that I was supposed to do around here? Ride for that man's vegetable patch, why not? Yeah. You clear out of here? Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong door. Receive mail. Quartz chunk arrived today. What? Short given a chunk of quartz. Nice. Well, my Jose mission has come back, so let's go and do that. I've already played dominoes of those guys. The Spines of America. New partner, if he likes Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's he's rough and ready and quick with his turn. But I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not oh. idiots. Let us prove it to you. You know why I ain't dead? Okay. You know why I ain't dead? Okay. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. <laughs> Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance. He wants to take out your competition. Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. Ah. Uh. I also want to see if you boys know what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. My yeah. Marriage. And yes, I love it. <laughs> man, let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> that suits me just fine. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. How do you do? Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Boom!
Dilla, 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 dilla. Just keep tapping X. Keep tapping the X button. Hide in the bush. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. By putting on a little show, will you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach? Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Wait until nightfall. Just wait. They already burnt at the end before he lit the cigarette. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Good idea. I'm gonna get my revolver out just in case. Nah, I don't need that. I can't kill him, so. For me, that's gonna be difficult. I'll be having that. Oh, it's a cigarette card. Mine. Mine. Don't wake up. Taking your pocket watch.
Just realised that in case they wake up, I should probably be doing this whilst. Coin purse, more money. All right, we successfully robbed this house. I did stealth mode and it worked. Let's go. I actually think the fastest way to travel is stagecoach. It's a little bit slower than like being on a normal horse's stamina and stuff, but a stagecoach doesn't have stamina, so you just keep going for ages. Loads of shit. Seamus, we met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Get in there. Why are you going so slow? Get in there. There we go. Nice work, Jose. Nice work, Jose. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet. You know, of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah. Sure. Head back to camp with Jose and a cinematic cutscene. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Oh. You can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus the Wagon Fence in Emerald Branch. Right, okay. So we just got to steal a lot of wagons and get them back over there, have we? Good work, boy. Hey, Arthur. How do you feel? Oh, sure. And 
not strong enough to work. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep. Uh, hi. You okay? What you up to? Just minding my own business. Okay, keep it that way. Yep, all right, man, I'll see ya. Let's take another bowl of stew. It's been a while. We need some stew. I'm Arthur Morgan. I need to eat some food. Uncle loves you. Loves you. One day, you won't be no three dollar whore. You're gonna be a, a five dollar whore or a <laughs> be no three dollar whore anymore. Maybe you'll be a five dollar whore. Arthur. Dutch? It's uh. O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon. Ah! I knew he was going to say that. Things have changed. The whole world's changed. Things have changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> ah. so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. What? Arthur, what's going on? They got Micah. He he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. My mass, my no, beard my just grew good. before the cutscene and into this cutscene. The heart inside. He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right, Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Crazy side off. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for. Him. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. 
Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah New, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. Yeah, I'll bet. Strangled me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, uh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Yeah, it didn't go down that way though, did it? Uh, was that the fight where I found the massive Apache who just wanted to lay into me? Oh, it's busy in here. Shit. Just lean on the bar. Let's get some whiskeys. One or two. Right off of? Of course, just a drink. Drum. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. That's right. Mm. Just chuck money at people. people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff. A lot like of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, uh -oh. buddy. Oh, there, dullards. My lord. You men is dull. You <laughs> men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Hey, buddy. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here. Clear. That's right. Clear. Move, Clear. piece of shit. I'm on my way. I wasn't waiting. I was gonna charm that guy. <laughs> oh. mm. well, that was supposed to be just one or two drinks, wasn't it? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, 
What the hell is he doing? This is great. Oh, I'm actually liking this bit. Where's he gone this time? So drunk. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. What in the world is happening here? I gotta go get Micah. This is great. This is great. Lenny. Is that Lenny? Is that actually Lenny? I think that's the real Lenny. Oh! That made me jump a little bit. Oh shit! Slap Lenny. Let's <laughs> keep slapping Lenny. Good friend in the army. This is exactly how I imagine like one of my nights out to go, just blacking out in between moments. Punch me in the dick. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now, but uh, that's Lenny. Lenny just puked all over the place. Keep going. You got this. I think I got away, but Lenny seems to have got arrested. <laughs> oh shit. That was certainly a fun mission. Laugh, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Oh! Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy, how's it going?
again. Yeah, so I, I just got him arrested, so... Good morning, partner. Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. If I don't do it, who will? Well, all the best. Take care now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here, so, uh, let's keep it I'm just in a friendly Raise mood today on. for some reason. Yep. Well, boy, for you. Anyway, guess I'll be on my way. You take care now. Morning, buddy. Hey, good this morning to you. I always say, this ought to do. manners cost nothing. You don't say. You enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Morning to you. Howdy. Oh, do you have the time there? Can't help you there. Okay, thanks anyway. See you soon. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. So uh, okay. Two hundred cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds uh... thrilling. Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money—a <laughs> veritable fortune, sir. Fortune. Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Oh, whoa. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. Okay. Sure. So much. I found the guy that I got to sell my cigarette cards to you now. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambottle. At your service. Okay. I gotta run. This is my train. Ah. Look me up. Ah. Think about this deal. Ah. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Catch you in a bit. Ah. Eat 
just complete set mail to him. Okay, well I'm going to try and make myself some money here. Tables growing moss. Want to buy in here? Yep. Let's do it. Can I skip this hand? Oh, cool. Oh. Check. Seven, eight king. Uh, Got a pair of kings. Raise. Not just a little wager. Oh, come on. I'll do you better. That's all? Ooh, real oh, shot and stuff. Oh. Come on, make a real move. Eights and kings. That's what I got. Well, well, look at this one here. What's he got? I got eights and kings. No. Oh, you motherfucker! Well, it's something. God damn, I'm no good at this poker shit. Uh, damn. Got a bad break. I'll check. That's fine. I'll take you out, William. I'm gonna take you out. Skip that shit. Ah, oh, Jack and the King. Let's make this a bit more fun. Hell, you ain't playing at all. I'm in. There we go. Ah. Come on, my shift is starting soon. Let's wake up a little, shall we? Bet you're bluffing right there. Again. Okay. I ain't got shit, fellas. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What fat stack now? Onwards we march. Damn, that's some luck there. Five and a ten. You're real excited. Real exciting. 
You ever Here's gonna my thing. play? Yes. Skip the drawing of the cards. What we got? Seven, eight. Kick up some dust. Um. Well, looky here. There. Nothing. Woo! Motherfucker. <laughs> That's a mother load. That was a fun game. Yeah, see ya. No good at the old, uh, I am no good at the poker. I try. I do my best. Right. What have we got? Micah. Bounty over there. Come on. Damn that. How far away is it? There's some pretty sizable holes in that dude. Ah, oh, just as my karma was starting to get a little bit better. Not that I'm bothered about that, but I am bothered about where his horse went. I was gonna steal his horse, and his horse seems to have ah, there is.
Well, them guys took it straight for the face. I do like the gore on this. Like, that bullet hole. Like, it's... Ooh. Guy had some money. Looks like this time around the Spanish Inquisition didn't expect me. Give me your stuff, buddy. to the horse I was riding. Did it get spooked off? How do I shoot the gun up? It's okay.
Oh damn! I thought it'd just slide down. God damn! Fuck! Ugh. There we go. Back to work, boy. Yep. Come on. Not really a lot going on here. Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a this is tail. as nice as I'm gonna now. ask. Hand it over. Now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't no need for that. I'm gonna take that map off you, my friend. Hey, you mind, do you? Oh, come on, you got your map. You'll be rich from it. Enough for a, a whole night with your favorite style. Think about it. Now, let me go. Let me go. Hey, you ain't gonna leave me like this.
I need to get the moment where I put one of these guys on the uh, train tracks. Look at the floor from here. <laughs> That's right. I tried asking nicely. Ah, oh, shit. Is he drowning? The horse died. Actually, will he float down the river? Oh no, there's the train tracks over there. We can make it. Investigate all you want, you won't know who did it. Crime reported. Fuck you! Of course I am, you're trying to kill me. Is he dead now? Yeah, I think I killed him. I've got you. Sorry, buddy. Let's have a go this way.
Fucking lawmen. Figure they own me. Figure they could kill me. Fuck, I needed that horse. No, yeah, I needed the horse to catch the train. Bollocks. I'm killing me a lot of people right now. Bounty's gone up to 112.50. I'm a bad man. Right, train went this way. Let's go. Hi, Miss Bones. How's it going? How's it going, Miss Bones? We're chasing a train that just ran me over, but we're good. We're good. Is it coming back through this way? Oh shit! Go, 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 go! Whoa! Keep running! We need to get over the other side of this bridge! Come on! Come on, go! Get over the bridge, get over the bridge, you've just got to get over the bridge. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, now we can rob the train. This is going to be a mask up moment. Let's get that up. Got no other weapons, but... Hey, hey! Oh, for fuck's sake! Get in, get on, get on the but get the horse. Come on. It's time for you to find some place else to be. You out to trouble me. Oh fuck. Fuck off. Come on! Come on! I will be robbing this train today. Whoa now! This area's off limits. 
Is it? Is it they? I mean, if I just... I mean, no, no one's going to know that I did that. Right. Okay. We are going to rob this train. And I mean the whole train. There's a money clip in there. Ah, oh, $12. Thank you. Anything in here? We've got some jewellery. I'm going to rob this entire train. Trains are where the money is in this game. Because, like, you imagine, like, every, anyone who's anyone is going to rob a train. Have they just stopped the train? Are they stopping the train? I don't want the... Oh, shit, 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 shit. My dead eye isn't working how I'd like it to. Everyone, stay on the train. Great, they stopped the fucking thing and everyone got off. Just hang on a minute, hang on. I've got to go to the front of the train very quickly. You know this ain't worth the trouble you'll find. Fuck off. I need to just, I need to just drive the train away from the law, which is going to be fine. Escape the law and the train, and then um, we're good to go after that. Choo -choo. Right, what's the point in a train if a horse is faster? What is the point in that? There just isn't one. You follow me across here, you idiots. Ha ha ha! Saw that! They were they weren't they look. That's right, it's shut off. Well, I don't see the point in that. Like, um, the horses are faster than the trains.
I need to find a big bridge like that and stay on the big bridge. That's what I need to do. Oh, this will do. TV wanted to automatically turn off. I was like, nope. I was just like, nope. Nope. Okay. So, I know we can blow these saves now. Oh. What? How am I taking what is in that safe? I somehow just looted that safe without opening it. Here's something I want to figure out. I've got cigarettes, right? If I smoke a pack, do I get a cigarette card? No. That'd just be too easy, wouldn't it? Cigarette cards. Stars of the stage card set. One of 12 cards found. Okay. Who have I got? <sighs> Group 12 card sets, yes, I know. You've attained a premium cigarette pack. Each premium cigarette pack contains a collectible cigarette card within. What? what? Okay, smoke the premium cigarettes. Where's my card? Why did you run outside? I didn't tell you to do that. No! I didn't want to do that. Yes. That's what we want. Shh. 
shit. Let's have a quick little search in this chest. Salute the guard. Just as I thought, they can't chase me over here. If they do, they'll get done by alligators, which would actually be quite funny to watch. So I've robbed the entire train, it's just that there's some alligators around here and I really want to see if they go after these guys. I'm down, I'm dead. Uh -huh. I am done. Oh, flipping hell. Oh, I'm tired as well. It takes a lot out of you doing all this shit, you know? Oh. What happened to Miss Bones? I was enjoying Miss Bones. I was like, it's Miss Bones, Mrs. Bones, Mrs. Oh, where am I? Oh shit, I'm in a big town. Okay, we've got a stranger over here. We've got some dominoes over here, Taylor, some poker in the saloon, a barber's, photo studio, a fence. Any bounty posters over here? There is a bounty poster. Ah, oh, I suppose we can go and chase that. Let me meet this stranger first. Love meeting me a stranger. Look out. This town's quite nice. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Sure. All right. Can Morning, I tell you mister. a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, hey there, partner. Uh, 
We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. There you go. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Oh, the bloody, like, urge to not loot that lockbox. I just feel as... No. I learned some money from a bounty. I need to eat. I'm fine, I'm only a little bit drunk. Turn yourself in so I conclude your bounty hunt. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? A hundred dollars dead or alive. poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this fella someone else's problem? Yeah, there's like, plenty of them. On urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This right. In particular, Wofford, ain't it? 
Why, hell, you cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all that remains is to bring him in. If your hand is false, then so be it. Okay. I don't know why they're dealing with something that's all the way over here. A little bit out of their area, isn't it? Come on, horse. A trim or something fancy like Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. Oh, this is looking good. I leave my beard the way it is for now. You've got a fine head of hair, I must say. Please, tell your friends about us. All right, you know where I am. Okay, got a nice cut of the barbers.
Just quickly change clothes and cool down. something instead of just begging. Holy shit. I hate asking I'll give him another 25 cents for it, let me, but it just won't. The English still live here. Morning. I want to vote. Hello. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Now, let me have a look. I see you got. I need. I need a summer outfit. Stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Now that is of the highest quality you can find. I need an outfit for the weather. I go on. I'm gonna have a look around, see if he's got a fence in his shop. Anything illegal going on in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there she is. You're walking away from history, you fools! Is Women and men both deserve to decide the future. 
This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Hello, ma'am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Uh... Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. I am a true progressive. If you want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> you think you're more intelligent than us? Because you keep us in gilded cages? Women voting. Women voting. Women voting. Now, you know, it was a different time back then. Most of you, I can Definitely a different time. Right. And even speak in public. Let me vote, you ignoramuses. Hmm. I'm going to just let her carry on and do her thing. I don't want to cause too much trouble in such a big town because I'll be surrounded by law before I know it. So we change clothes. Okay. Back, buddy. Oh, shit. happens. Start right now and face the law. The fucking law. They just fucking took $15 off me, the bastards. All I wanted to do was go to the gunsmith. person you have always wanted to be, a Rick Bully. Hey. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Listen. Listen to me, friends. This book, this precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise, I have written it for you so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man 
who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'm a philanthropist, an American philanthropist. I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and super silly. Oh my God. Urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money. It's all right here. I will stop after I've looted this guy. That's how you fucking get rich quick. Do what, do what, do what. A book was just a load of nonsense. I knew it would be. I got my money back. Keep running. No, you can drown. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you can actually drown as well. Okay. Okay. God damn it. Okay. It would appear that you can also drown in this game.
I'm sorry. There's gotta be something to steal around here. I know I can't go in this house because I can't see through the fucking windows. I feel like it's going to be the same for this house as well. I don't remember where the fence was. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god! God, that's hard. far out there. Just riding through guys, just riding through. Thank you. 
God, riding wagons is hard. Lemoyne Bounty three hundred dollars. This is a going well. There's the mountains. Apparently there's a there's a white horse up in those mountains, so I've got a track apparently. This must be the most uncomfortable ride ever as well, because there's like no suspension on these things. There we go. Let's get the wagon in there. Go on. Get in. Oh, you might be interested in this. There are war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? Here you go. Don't beat up. Fucking trick. That's like twenty five dollars. Twenty five fucking dollars. Hey there, partner. Partner. Hey, mister. Darn people. He's a good boy. Hello, boy. Can salmon that do it? Oh, this coat surely should fetch me a pretty penny, right? It's got like four horses bolted to it. I'm 
I nearly ran the dude over. This is in good condition. He should like this. Figured this might be of interest to you. Are you just not going to give me any money? What? Where's my fucking money? I've literally crashed out the game. I've lost my uh, I've lost my crosshairs as well. I haven't got a crosshair. See, I've literally just crashed out of the game because he didn't give me my money for the. Um... Yep, great. He didn't give me my money for that stagecoach, and then I died. And fucking tasty. Absolutely fan fucking tastic. I'm going to try and reload the game, but I, I may have broken it. The map isn't showing up in the corner of the screen, nothing. I've got no crosshairs, I've got no weapon wheel. I broke it. Whoa! 
Put my crosshairs back. That fence owes me some damn money. Maybe you can't steal stagecoaches. Maybe if you could, like... Yeah, maybe that's the thing. I don't know, that did just break just then. Those guys can't see what's going on. Did I loot him or not? Does he not have anything on him? Maybe I can search. Oh, it's for every pack of premium cigarettes you pick up. Right. Right, let's try and shift this to the wagon fence again and see what happens. I got off too quickly last time. Oh, don't let old man Wagner see you wearing that. Again, it's gone. Where's my money? I've completely broken this game. That old mask ain't gonna save you. Oh god, he doesn't like taking those stagecoaches.
Giving stagecoach to the wagon fence breaks Red Dead 2. Well, my game's broken, guys, so this is as good a time as any to uh, sign off, really. Um, I might be back on a little bit later, uh, but for now, I appear to have broken the game, and we'll need some time to fix it. Thank you very much for watching today, and if I'm back on later, I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to have these episodes posted up onto my YouTube channel as well and I'll update on Twitter and stuff when it goes live. But um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a head on out, that's my horse, just took a shit, fucking amazing, love this horse, love the size of his balls. His balls are huge. Oh yeah, cheers dude, yeah it was an alright session wasn't it? Um, but yeah, I shall catch you on in a bit. Bye bye guys, thanks for watching.